They're all about story now, but it's all about soap opera. It's all about contrived story. It's, it, in, in professional wrestling, the story is basically why are these guys mad at each other and what are they fighting for? Now it's, oh, my God, the, uh, he burned the guy's house down or he, you know, he kidnapped his dog and cooked it for dinner or what. You know, <laughs> it's just it's so uncredible that I think it's, it's a byproduct of having television writers coming into the business rather than in, in professional wrestling you had bookers. And those bookers made matches based on the personalities. You know, people knew Kenny and they knew what he was about and they knew you know, what made him tick and they knew Jim and they knew what I was about and they knew what made me tick and they knew that if they, we, they got us together we would have a, just a natural personal rivalry because we were, are two different people so we wouldn't like each other and we would be fighting over a championship or, or over money or over prestige. Now it's just so overly contrived that it, it's become a television product and it, it comes from you know, the TV writers having to put a story in I, that fucking idiot Ed Ferrara one time. <laughs> well, no, he is. Let's face it. <laughs> Fuck him. They had, and th this was the first wave of it, you know, Ferrara and, and the other guy we'll get to, but <laughs> um, they had Marlena. Remember when Marlena was with Goldust and then somehow Marlena was pregnant and then somehow Marlena got knocked off the apron and had a miscarriage, right? Which to me, and I went up to him, I said, Ed, I said, what the fuck is this all about? Why would you do that? I said, nobody wants to see that shit. I said, for one thing, I said, you've been knocking them over the head with the fact that this shit's phony for so long. They probably didn't believe she was pregnant to begin with. Therefore, the people who didn't believe she was pregnant, now you said she'd had a miscarriage, so the people don't believe that either. So they're just saying you're just uh, uh, capitalizing, you know, you're doing a fake miscarriage for the sake of a story. That's in bad taste. If anybody did believe she was pregnant and got knocked off the ring and had a miscarriage, that's in bad taste. What about the people who have their wives or girlfriends or mothers or family members have had miscarriages? They don't want to fucking see that on their wrestling. It didn't sell any tickets. It didn't sell any pay-per-views. He said, well, this would be a story on any primetime network drama program. Well, this ain't a primetime network drama program, you little short, fat motherfucker. <laughs> It's, it's pro wrestling and what the outsiders, and I've been around this business all of my adult life and a lot of my teenage life, and they, what people that come into it and try to rape it and put the boots to it and make money off of it and go on and do other things, what they don't understand is that wrestling fans don't see, if they don't see Stone Cold Steve Austin played by Steve Williams. They see Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's not guys playing a part, playing a role, playing somebody else. It's guys being themselves. That's what wrestling fans want to see because that's why the top stars get over. Ric Flair is Ric Flair. Steve Austin is Steve Austin. The Rock is The Rock. Um, and, and so it, it just, it's distasteful when you have to you know, manipulate and manufacture all these different stories. So in answering your question, now that I've beat around the bush, it's, it's different now. It was always about a story, but it was always about, in professional wrestling, it was about who's going to win the title, who's going to win the money, why are these guys mad? You know, they, they have a very simple issue that you can grasp. In sports entertainment, it's contrived and it's complicated, and chances are it's not really believable, and it's just another dramatic fucking horseshit, you know, teleplay. And that's why people watch it on TV for free a lot now but they don't want to invest money in spending money to see what's going to happen, which is why the pay-per-view buy rates are going down, because it's not credible and believable. You don't believe these guys are really mad at each other. You, you, you know now that they're being told what to say and what to do, whereas that's sports entertainment. In pro wrestling, it wasn't so obvious that guys are being told what to say and what to do. And who wants to get behind a fucking hero that does and says what he's told? You want to get behind a guy who kicks ass and does what he wants to fucking do and doesn't give a shit what anybody thinks about it, right? That's a fucking hero, not somebody that... Go, and just while I'm on the subject, <laughs> when did it become a goddamn deal that you could just threaten these superstar wrestlers, we'll fire you and you'll be penniless? Well, they must not pay very fucking good if a guy can be fired and be penniless six weeks later. 
He's going to lose his fucking house and his, his wife will divorce him because he has no job. He's a goddamn major network television star. And you're telling me he's going to be broke because he goes three weeks without a fucking paycheck? It, it doesn't make sense. And that, that the promoters were always at the mercy in pro wrestling. We're always at the mercy of the top stars when the heel wrestler would say, well, if you don't give me the match that I want, then I'm going to take your belt Mr. Promoter, and I'm going to leave. And where will you be then without me to draw the crowds? Now it's like, we're the promoters. And if you don't do what we say, then we'll fire you and you'll be penniless and you'll be sweeping up garbage in the streets and giving blowjobs in the alley. <laughs> Fuck. Just don't manufacture that kind of stuff. It, it's, you just don't. The table was set. Um, the North invaded the South. The Yankees, Red Sox, whatever rivalry you want to say, you could just tell. I certainly could tell as a talent. Uh, I, I'd like to be a part of that. If they don't want me here. I want to be a part of that. <laughs>